Since March, a lot of theaters have been closed down, and today in Ohio, they're opening back up. Some places have opened their theaters back earlier this summer, and Ohio was originally going to do it at the end of July, but our numbers spiked quite a bit during that time. Um, but uh, the theaters have decided to, to to open their doors today, and the big question is: Am I going to go? Am I going to go to the theater? You know, going to the theater for me was a big escape uh, from the stresses of every day to day life. And I, I love movies, it's, that's obvious. And I, I've been anxious to go back, um, but obviously th there's a drawback to going to the theater. I think the biggest one for me that I've always struggled with is other people in the auditorium. Like I was doing socially distant movie viewing before for, for years and the reason being is not because I'm a germaphobe uh, it's because I hate it when people talk during the movie um, it drives me nuts it's like if you're gonna go see a movie for eight and you're gonna spend eight to fifteen dollars or in my case I spend twenty dollars a month on my membership I it I don't get why you'd want to talk during that time if you're paying money to see something and another thing is you're being disrespectful to the other people that have paid to, to see this movie and I mean whether the movie's good or bad you know the the crew and filmmakers involved worked hard on it so I feel like they deserve our respect um, I know that that sounds kind of cheesy but that's just the way that I view it whether I like the movie or not uh, you know I don't talk during the movie at all it's like discussing it happens afterwards for me but that's that's the sort of thing that drives me up the wall so it's like I had like a whole system where I would go I had days figured out where the theater would be less crowded like honestly 90% of the time when I when I used to go I would be the only person in the auditorium or there might be a second or a third but I would sit far enough away from them that they that if they talked I wouldn't be able to hear them and I'll be doing the same exact thing and as far as for what theaters are doing to protect their customers and employees I obviously I haven't seen it in person but I've, I've read uh, I've read on Regal's website what exactly they're doing and I'll kind of summarize it but um, if you want to read the whole thing, go visit their website. They're uh, they're doing basically everything that groceries and restaurants are doing. You know, cleaning surfaces every thirty to sixty minutes. Um, employees and customers are all required to wear masks. Um, and for me, I don't care about wearing masks. I'll I'll do it. It doesn't bother me. I don't really get that deep into it whether or not I, I agree with it or not. It's just, it's one of those things where um, with mass gathering, it obviously makes sense to me. Um, but I, I think where I struggle a little bit is when I'm the only one in the theater and I'm wearing a mask. Yeah, I understand that after the movie, somebody else could come in and I guess breathe in my germs or whatever. I, I understand that. The, the only drawback for me wearing a mask is it fogs up my glasses. Wearing a mask and it fogging up my glasses and I'm not able to see this movie that I've paid to see. Um, so, I mean, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Um, and it's why I don't wear a mask while I'm driving, definitely, while I ride a bike or go for a run. And during those times, anyway, I'm all by myself. But another thing they're doing is they're doing the social distancing seating. Uh, so I, I was looking at showings for Rocky, and it's like they've got certain seats closed off, and it's like it's like every every three is where a person sits. I, I think and, you know it's, it's six feet apart. So that's that it's that whole thing they've been talking about all year. Um, and another thing that they're doing is they're they've always allowed you to purchase tickets beforehand and uh, with my membership it's 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 free to do so and then you can also now purchase concessions beforehand, beforehand like food you can 
have that, I guess, brought out to you or whatever. So I don't know how exactly they're doing that, but you don't have to go up to the counter anymore. You can order it from your phone. I'm, I'm looking forward to going back. Uh, I'll be doing the exact same, like I said earlier, I'm just gonna be doing the exact same thing I, I used to do. I'll be going during days that I know people will typically be at work or times that I know people will be at work. And uh, unfortunately, usually I went during like 11 a.m but now they're they're not showing any showings before one. So I'll typically probably go at like 1 p.m. or in the middle of the afternoon, you know, uh, for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and sometimes Monday. Those are like the four days that are the best to go if you're wanting to avoid crowds, uh, you know, during the middle of the day because everybody else is at work. I work night shifts, so I have the opportunity to go to the, go to the theater during the middle of the afternoon. I want to encourage people that, that go to be respectful. You know, the employees working there, they're just, they're, they're doing what they love, whether they love the theater or they're just trying to pay their rent. It's like, they're not, they're not the reason you have to wear a mask. It's not their fault. You know, it, it, it really bothers me seeing people at, pe seeing employees at grocery stores get shit from customers. Like that drives me up the wall because they're just trying to do their job. They're just trying to do what's best for them and what's best for you. And whether you agree with it or not, it's just, you know, just, just, just do the best you can. Be respectful of the company's and the employee's wishes. And if you don't want to go because you're concerned with getting sick, that's, that's okay. That, that's your deal. Um, and I know there are people that are, that are still saying that theaters, it's, it's too soon to open. And I, I don't have a voice in that because I'm not a doctor. Like I, I don't, I'm not somebody that pretends to be an expert on anything. I just, I try to trust what doctors are saying and what my local doctors are saying. And from what, uh, from the people that I've talked to, it's, it's, it's okay to go back and do these things. You just have to take steps to protect yourself and others. Just be smart about it. It's like when you go for a drive, wear a seatbelt. It's like. It's kind of the same thing as going out in public right now. Just do, just do the best that you can and try to be respectful of others. And uh, again, I'll, I'll say again, the wishes of the companies that you're visiting. Um, uh, and it'll just all go a lot, lot smoother that way. So with movie theaters opening, are you excited to go back? Are you apprehensive? Uh, it's something that I was thinking about this morning and I was like, maybe I should do a video about this because I don't have a whole lot of friends in the area to talk to you about this sort of thing because some people don't give a shit about going to the theater anymore, but I, I do. I think it's, it's an important thing. For me, it's just to get away from stuff. Yeah, there's the stress of people talking during the movie, but nine times out of 10, uh, my system has helped me root that sort of concern out. So comment below, let me know, what are you excited to see? They're bringing back some classics like Beverly Hills Cop, the Rocky series, Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, just to name a few. Comment below, let me know. Thanks always for watching. Stay happy and stay healthy. Bye.